Welcome to the SaaS Accelerator series in the Mastering the Marketplace Library. This is David Starr in collaboration with Julio Colon, and we're going to jump right in and show you the Accelerator, what it is, and what it can do for you. There's even more functionality than we'll show in this video, but we want you to see the basics of what it can do because that's enough to justify using the Accelerator in the first place. We're going to take a look at its landing page capability. Also, the fact that customers can manage their own subscriptions within the SaaS Accelerator. And finally, we'll take a look at the fact that publishers get a subscription management portal for use in managing the subscriptions that customers have to their products. First, we're going to start with the landing page, which of course starts with a purchase. Here we are about to buy a product through the Azure portal, and there are two plans available, gold and silver. We'll choose the silver plan. Go ahead and set up and subscribe. And I like to hold all of my purchases in one place. In this case, it's going to be the SaaS Accelerator Purchases Resource Group, and we'll give our SAS purchase a name. We'll call it subscription 04. And then we'll hit review and subscribe and go ahead and subscribe. Now we're in the SAS subscription provisioning process, which can take a moment. So we're going to flash ahead so that you don't have to watch the entire subscription process. This usually takes one to two minutes. Great, our subscription is complete and now we can go to our landing page by clicking the Configure Account Now button. Now remember, this is the landing page provided by the SaaS Accelerator. And what we see are the subscription details that a customer would be interested in before they request activation of the subscription. So we're looking at all of the details that I want to confirm. I have decided that this is in fact what I want to purchase and subscribe to. So I'm going to select activate and this will actually send a notification of some sort to the publisher who then needs to activate my subscription for me. And now we're going to take a look at the publisher subscription management portal in which we can actually activate that subscription. Okay, I've logged into the SaaS Accelerator portal for publishers. This is the admin page. I can go directly to subscriptions and see the subscription for, this is the one that we just purchased on the consumer side and as a publisher we're going to take the action of activating this subscription now when we do we'll have an opportunity to take a look at all of the details that we might want to see about the subscription before we activate it notice that the status is currently set to pending fulfillment start Let's see what happens when we click the activate button. Well, it says we're processing your request and we can go back and check the subscription status in the subscription list. And it's now subscribed. Now this workflow works very well when you have a product that needs manual creation of accounts for your customers. Lastly, we're going to take a look at the fact that a customer can come to the customer subscription management page. Actually, it's the landing page just without passing the purchase ID token to the landing page. And we'll get the ability to manage our subscriptions as customers. So remember, this was the landing page. I'll take off the token, the purchase ID token, and now I have the ability to come up to this subscriptions menu item and see the subscriptions that I've made and all of the states that they are in. Subscription 3 happens to be 
in the pending fulfillment start status. So we want to activate it. And again, we're going to just send a notice of please activate me to the publisher. So here we got to see a couple of things. First of all, we got to see that the SAS Accelerator provides us an out of the box landing page that you don't have to worry about creating on your own. Also, the customer is able to manage their subscription by going to that landing page without passing the purchase ID token. Finally, we saw that the SAS Accelerator provides a publisher's portal for managing customer subscriptions. And all of this was done without writing a line of code, just simply installing the Accelerator and using its built-in capabilities. Now there are more advanced capabilities of the Accelerator and we'll show those in a different video. Thank you for joining me for another module in the Mastering the Marketplace SaaS Accelerator series. Find more videos, sample code, and even hands-on labs at the URL on your screen, aka.ms slash mastering the marketplace.